Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be writing Qtile. Now, I'm not an expert in Python. I'm not an expert in Qtile. I haven't used Qtile in over a year, so this is going to be an adventure. So this is not a tutorial in any sense. So if you get if you get anything from this video, I'm very happy for it. If you get nothing but what not to do, I'm also happy about that. So expect things to go wrong. Let's jump in, shall we? Now, all I've done is install Qtile and download DistroTube's configurations because I've figured it'd be easier just to go through and start from his and work my way up to something different. And that's what I'm going to do. Now, I have made some changes. I've gone through and taken out some of the arrows from the bar. I've taken out some of the widgets from the bar and I've changed the group names. And I've also made some changes to the key bindings. So some of the some things are different so i'm also going to show you the color scheme that i'm going to be using today so the color scheme that i'm using is going to be called one half and it's kind of one dark with some alternate colors now what i've decided to do is go through and do the white theme now i've never done a light theme in my life so this should be interesting whether or not i keep it i'm not sure but we're going to try so that's the that is the that's the color scheme that I'm going to be using. So first, let's go ahead and get into our configuration file. So d cd into the qt file and dot config, and we're going to vim into config.py. Now, where we're going to start is by fixing a problem that I have with the workspaces. Somewhere along the line, I have two sixes. Or it feels like I have two sixes. I think I passed it by. I did. I don't, I don't have two sixes. I have two fives. That's the reason why it looks like I only have eight workspaces. So one, two, three, four, five. Change the letter six. Change the letter seven. Eight. Nine, because believe it or not, I do know how to count most of the time. Okay, that will change that because I kept trying to change the workspace six, and it says I didn't have a workspace six, and that was really messing with my head. So, so anyway, I got that done. That'll come up the next time I go through and refresh the configuration file. So let's go through and work on our colors now. The panel background is going to be white. And that color code is FA, FA, FA. So we'll change this to FA, FA, FA. And we'll change this to FA, FA, FA. All right. And then the font for the group names is going to be black. And the color code for that is 383A42, I believe. Yeah. And I cannot type 383A42. Oops, and you can't actually go through. Three, eight, three, a four, two. Okay, now I'm going to WQ this, no, just W. Just write it, and then I'm going to do super shift R to restart, and we're there. All right, now we got a white background for our bar, and we have black text for our group names, but it's for the active group name, we need to change that background so it actually work, looks good. So the best way to do that is to go down here, I believe, and change the color. So it'll be the background color should be zero and the foreground color should be two. So I'm going to actually open this up in a vertical, vertical split. That way I can go through.
and change this and still have this in view. All right, so let's see here. So the background is zero, so that's going to be FAFA, which is not, that's gonna be for the inactive groups. So this screen current border, color six. So one, two, three, four, excuse me, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's gonna be the purple. And we want that to be red, I think. So we want this to be, so we want six to be zero, one, two, three. So we want this to be here, to be red, I think. We're gonna try it with red. So we're gonna, we're gonna E four, five, six, four, nine. E four five six four nine. Okay, and we'll write and super shift R. Alright, so that gets the bottom right. So we got the border right of that. Now we just need the background of that. So that's gonna be this screen four. So we want it to be red. So four should be zero, one, two, three, four. So let's change this color right here. Uh, I'm gonna actually make sure we're doing going the right direction. All right, and we'll change this to E four five six four nine. Change word E four five six four nine. Oops, somehow I changed that to a, oops, opened up help somehow. All right. And super shift R, that didn't change anything. That changed this here, but did not change the background of the current. Why are the, I'm so confused. The group names are out of order. I3 does this sometimes too, where things get out of order. There's nothing on two, so what, why is two even... Well, now I'm even more confused than I was before, as usual. All right. Go back up here to the group names, make sure I have one through nine. Is that supposed to be like zero through eight? I don't think so. Why are the group names out of order? And what did I change just now to make them go out of order? All right, here's what's gonna happen. I'm going to save my recording, come back after a logout, and see if they go back in order and you know because something's messing up here okay I'm back the workspaces are now in order again why that happened I'm not sure but it does that in i3 once in a while too when you're messing around with the group names it will go through and leave the old names up there for a little while and it's a little weird and you have to log back out and log back in and actually order in order to get them to you know do right so Let's jump back in again. Of course, I'm not. All right. Now, clear this and CD. Oops, we should zoom in. Seriously, Matt. So you can actually see. CD into config.qtile and vim into config.py. All right. Now, we still have the problem with the background for the active workspace being wrong. Open this up in a vertical split again so I can see the colors. All right. So active colors should be two. It's going to be 3db4. That's a, okay, so let's change this to red. 
we're not going to make everything red. So we need a change word here to, to E456 49. I've got that one memorized. E E45649. We'll write this in control shift R. Yeah, there we go. Now that's much better. Um it's kind of hard to see the workspace in there, so I wonder if there's a way to make the current highlight color is one it says. So the background color, if we change the background color to, no, because that's going to be all of them. What I want to do is change the, so let's go ahead and close this. What I want to do is make the foreground color of the current active white which is color zero. So active and inactive colors are exactly the same, okay? Highlight color is one, which is red. Two. Font color for, for group names. Maybe you can't go through and change the Oh, you want? I, I actually kind of know what I'm doing. So you want to change this to color zero. R. Yeah, there we go. I'm not sure that it's actually any better because it actually goes through and changes the color of the active other screen as well. Damn. So maybe red's not the best color to go through there. Let me think about that for a minute. Okay, I'm undoing that action. So we're just gonna do what we're gonna it's gonna have to stay black. I'm not sure that that's actually any better, but it's okay. Now the, now the next thing I want to do is go through and change some of these. So I really don't want just red and white. There because there are other colors in this color scheme. So we've got green, yellow, blue, and magenta. But I'm not going to be able to... Oh, you know, I know exactly how to do that. All right, so we need these other colors. Can you have... The question I have is, can I have more colors than just this? I'm going to find out. So we want to keep the numbers the same because we don't have to go through and mess around with the numbers of the colors. So what I'm going to do and we have to insert a comma here and paste and then brackets. We want to know the color. So Next color we want is going to be, let's just say green. So this is going to be quotation marks, pound, 50A, 14F, okay? And then comma, quotation marks, oops, quotation marks, pound, 50A14F. That's not a pound sign, that's a dollar sign. Dumbass. <laughs> All right, I think that 50A14F. And we'll just make this green. All right, so if, if I go through and save this now, it should should work if I can have more than just that number of colors. So if we do W and control shift R, not super shift R, yeah, it's still working. Good. So now if we go through and change the foreground of the temperature, let's say, let's go, go down here to the 
the temperature widget, which is this one here. So that would be color seven. So we want the foreground to be color zero. So change the letter to zero. And we want the background to be, no, excuse me, that's wrong. We want this to be seven and the background to be zero. Oops. So if we do control shift, if we save this and do super shift R, the temp CPU temperature should change. And it did not. That means I did something wrong, obviously. Um, I changed the icon. I did. Excuse me. I have to change both of these. Dumbass. All right. So the foreground should be seven. Background should be zero. And it did the text, but it did not do this sim the symbol here. But it did on the other monitor, which you can't see. So something with the separator here is messing with something. I'm going to delete this. I think I'm going to delete the system tray. I don't really need the system tray, so I'm just going to go delete it. Which means we don't need the separator, I don't think. Yeah, there we go. See, now we got the little temperature thing and the temperature. Yeah, good. All right. So this is working. That means I can have all their colors. So if we go back up here and we, we can go and put our colors in. Now, let's. I'm going to save this and restart Qtile. Make sure I don't error out. So, my shift R. I am. N I have not errored out, which is very good. And I'm still recording, which is, as you can see. All right. Um, now, let's just go through and do the rest of the widgets, shall we? So the next one is the updates one. And let's see, updates. So we want that to, let's vertical split this thing again. And look at the colors again. So we, that way we have the numbers in front of us. All right. So we want, so we did green. Let's do, I don't think yellow is going to show up all that well. So let's do blue next. So the foreground is going to be blue, which is color nine. Okay. And the background is still going to be color zero. So change letter zero. All the, ba all the background colors are going to be zero. And we do that from this one here as well, which does not have a foreground to it or background to it. That's gonna show up as white. No, it's gonna. Oh, never mind. It's there. It's just it's just wrapped around weird. So the foreground we want it to be nine, and the background zero. Okay, write this mod shift R. We apparently messed that up somewhere. Background zero nine. 
Mine should be blue. Mess that up somewhere. All right, I'm gonna close the split because I actually don't need to see this. All right, so I did something wrong. It's showing up as I forgot he has mouse actions attached to those. Um, so foreground should be nine, should be blue. Zero one eight four BC, zero eight one four BC. So I got the codes right. Foreground is the text color should be nine, which is blue. All right, well, let's change it to a different color and see if that because it shows up blue on the other monitor. All right, you want let let's just go through and change the rest of them and see. So we did we did blue. Damn. There we go. Um, let's see here. The memory usage should be magenta. So that's um, color 10. And this should be zero, okay? And this should be the same. So change the letter 10, 19. All right, so that takes care of that. And now the next one is going to be the, so is the memory. My ethernet thing is not even showing up. So I'm assuming that this is probably because the interface uh, names are different between my computer and DT's, which makes sense. So I'm just going to delete it. I don't actually need it. Okay, so the volume will make that cyan. So change letter. This should be 11, and this should be 0. Okay, and this is the same. All right, and this is the current layout icon. The foreground should be, we'll use red again, I guess. So that's going to be four, and this should be zero, okay? And the current layout should also be foreground four, background zero. All right, and the clock is the last one. So we'll use green again, I guess. So that's seven. So change letter seven, letter zero. Okay, write this, control shift R, and we have some things showing up here. For whatever reason, the Update one is not one of them. The rest of them worked just fine, except for the current icon. I'm guessing that's because this actual icon is just white. So I can just, I don't need an icon or an icon. We'll leave that there for now. I might play around with that later. For whatever reason, the update ones is not working. Foreground color is 9. So, 9 is blue. And the update icon is showing up on the second monitor. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause again and log back out and log back in and see if that, will work, if that works. Because sometimes something like that might not show up after, until a restart. So, but then when I come back, I'm going to mess around with the font. See if I can make the font bigger and make sure if I, see if I can make the font bolder. All right, as you can see, that is still not showing up for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why. I'm sure it's some stupid mistake on my part. I'll mess around with it later. It's not that big a deal. So the next thing I want to do is fonts. So, all right. So next thing I want to do, like I said, next thing I want to do is fonts. So I need to CD back into my config file. 
and the fonts are located down here. Now I've already changed this to heck nerd font, so I'm going to first change the size to like, I don't know, 15 or something, 15 or 16. We'll start with 16 and we'll go down. So I changed the, the font size of this here, and that's maybe a little bit too big, but let's go change the group names because I think the group names are actually done by themselves. Yeah, font size nine. So we want to change that to the same size. We're going to change the other one up there to 15. So this one should be 15 too. We'll also change this to the same font as the rest. So uh, actually what we'll do is change this up here to Ubuntu bold. Change one to 15. That looks kind of horrible, honestly. I hate Ubuntu Bold. All right, well, we're going to go back to the nerd font here. All right, and we'll change this one here to hack nerd font as well. That's about the right size, though, I want. Yeah, that's better. Uh, the padding is a little off on the group names. I think it feels like. I'm not sure. That might be something I messed around with too, but it is better, easier to read. Now, I'm not sure if I'll keep that red background or not. I may change it to something else. Like blue or something. I don't know. Because... But then blue would be even worse. It had to be something lighter. I don't know. That's something I would play around with later. So that's the bar. Now I need to do the outline. So I think the outline color is up here somewhere. I'm actually not sure. Is it this here? So if we change this to red, so that's the so red is um, E45649, E45649. Write this and open up. Yep, now we have red. Okay. Uh, that is into. <laughs> It's not a very good color scheme, I don't think. I don't think I'm going to stick with this white theme because it's just going to make my eyes search for those things. Uh, it's not going to be great. I think we're going to make a, a course correction here, folks. I think we're going to go to change the, the background to the black. So that means everything that's going to be color zero should be 282C34. Which, 282C34, is that really it? Yes. Okay. 282C34, which I think is going to be utterly hilarious because I'm pretty sure that's the color that we started on. I'm just thinking. Oh, it's so better than white. Um, we're going to have to change the group color names to white again, though. So this is going to be... Change word F A F A F A. Change word F. Okay. Yeah, it's so much more readable. Goodness gracious, why does anybody ever do a white theme? Like, oh, I like, oh, I thought this was a good idea. The update thing is working now. That doesn't make any sense because that's supposed to be blue, not white. I'm just saying. <laughs> that's so weird. Really, really weird. All right, but that's so much better. Yeah. It's a weird color scheme. I'm, I'm thinking it's a weird color scheme, but it works. So that's all I'm going to do for now. I'm not going to change my Vim theme quite yet. Mostly successful. It was an adventure. And th these things usually are. So I am not looking. I'm looking at this now and I'm not entirely crazy about this color scheme. It looks better in Vim on in the screenshots than it does in real life. Maybe it's just the font that is causing me to say that, but I don't know. I'm going to have to find a wallpaper to go along with it. 
and I'm going to have to go through and find out why the Vim thing is not working. Something's wrong with that. Obviously, I'm not doing it right. Go figure. Anyways, thanks for watching. You can follow us on Twitter at the LinuxCast. You can follow us on Facebook at the LinuxCast. You can support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast. And I'd like to thank a moment, thank our current sponsors, Devon, Zach, Marcus, Merrick, and Camp. Thanks, everybody, for supporting us. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I've had enough of this.